Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week on my blog, I'm featuring the Lighthouse Point Bundle. This is a great bundle. Um, you can make this fun lighthouse either by using the dies or by stamping. Um, today's card, I'm gonna show you how to piece together all of these uh, fun pieces um, that are the, the die set. Okay, I think the only thing we're stamping are the rocks and the sentiment. So let's do that. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of die cutting. So we're gonna do we're gonna try to do all of it at the same time. So let's see if we can get that done. I'm gonna use smoky slate and I'm gonna stamp four sets of rocks. There we go. And then um, for the sentiment, I'm gonna use Knight of Navy on Daffodil Delight. All right, now the other things, I think that's about it for the stamping, but we're gonna put adhesive sheets on the back of these pieces, okay? That's gonna turn them into stickers and make them super easy to put together. So our adhesive sheets come six by 12, and you just kind of use them as you go, um, cutting them down to whatever sizes that you need. So I'm just gonna layer these on here. Here's the navy part and the smoky slate part. And then I like to set it back down onto that backing piece like that. And then just cut it out. Really, we just need to cut this part right here. And then that will fall out like that, okay? And then we need a piece for the real red. And let's see if I can do this like that. I'm just gonna cut that one off since it's a straight line. Okay. Now, we're also gonna use our Into the Clouds embossing folder. So we've got quite a bit to do over here. Let's bring over the cut and emboss machine and we'll do our die cutting first. Well, let me get all my plates set up. One, two, three, and then we'll put all of this on here. Let's see how much we can get on here at one time. I don't know. It's like a puzzle, putting all of these on here. Let's see, we'll do that. Okay, we've got the red is gonna go here, and the big white piece goes here. We've got the top is the navy, and then We've got Smoky Slate, and we're gonna put that right there. All right, I'm gonna switch that one out because I have misplaced my rock die. Oh, let's see, we'll just make do, don't worry. There's the sentiment, and then that's the little light that shines out from our lighthouse. And very carefully, you gotta run it all through like that. All right, now put your dies back so that you don't misplace them. See, this is just gonna be so easy because these are now stickers. Okay, now before we get rid of our cut and emboss machine, let's do some embossing. I'm gonna take plate two out and just use one and three. And we're gonna take our in the clouds, into the clouds embossing folder. And we're gonna run that through like, there's my other plate, like that. This is a really fun die, it's very subtle. It's not one of our 3D folders, so it's really subtle. All right, let's get all of our pieces over here. You're gonna wanna use your die brush to get all these little doodads out of the pieces. The die brush, brush attachment um, is for your take your pick tool. I actually have two of them, as you can see. And these, all these ends, they screw on or off so you can switch them out. But for the video, I just have two so that I don't have to do that while you guys are watching. Let's get all those pieces. Okay, now, this one has these little lines here. 
So the little point part, there we go, the point part of your cut and emboss, I mean, uh, your take your pick tool will help you get that out. Okay, now let's see which of these pieces we need. I believe all of that is trash. All right, let's start with the red. And we're going to layer this over the solid white. Like that. When you pull that backing off, you now have a sticker. You don't have to worry about adhesive. And then we're going to do the top part blue or night of navy. This is called paper piecing when you piece different colors of paper together to get a multicolored object. Okay, and then this part is our, like the, you know, when you go to the top of the lighthouse, it's like the railing. All right, like that, isn't that fun? I love it. Okay, so we've got those pieces. Now let's bring over some grid paper. We want these clouds to kind of pop out just a little bit. So I'm just going to get a little bit of balmy blue and I'm going to run it across just lightly, not, not real heavy, but I want you to be able to see those clouds pop out. All right, we're gonna start with a basic, or a smoky slate card base, and I have cut a piece of Daffodil Delight Designer Series paper. I think this time I'm gonna use the plaid side. Um, this is two by four and a fourth. If you click the link here on YouTube, you can go uh, to the blog post where there is a free PDF that has all the measurements and the supply list that you'll need for this project and two other Lighthouse Point projects. All right, let's see. We're going to mount this on a piece of balmy blue. And it looks like my white piece is just a little bit too long. Put some stamp and seal on that and put that right down the middle of our card. All right, now I did put adhesive on the very back piece of this just to make it easy. And we're going to put this down here like that. All right, now here are our rocks. And we're going to put two of them in the background flat like this. Okay, and then we'll put dimensionals. Whoops, we'll put dimensionals on these. Let's do kind of offset like that. And this one we'll do kind of like that. And I'm gonna cut this one to make it even with that piece like that. All right, now let's put that light there going out right about, let's see, let's go a little bit lower, right about there. Okay, and then we've got our sentiment. Let's see if I can get that to go right about there. And then last but not least, we'll put on some rhinestones. All right, and you can use the putty end of your take your pick tool to pick these up and set them down. Isn't that fabulous? This is my favorite use for the take your pick tool. And there you have it. All right, guys, make sure you check out this um, bundle. It is a fantastic bundle. Um, great for masculine cards, um, but also, you know, summer themed cards as well. All right, click the link here to visit my blog and please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.